power back up because uh, if the sequencer stops in the middle of a run, you're going to lose all your data. So you have to make sure you have power the whole time. And it's in here, in this room, protected from the environment. And here we are. The sequencing machine, that molecular sieve. Now the, the sieve bit is actually a chemical matrix that's inside of this tiny little tube, less than a millimeter in diameter inside. This is what the DNA is going to be forced into by an electrical charge from one end of the sieve to the other. We've got the data from hundreds of samples on the computer here, and now my job for the rest of the day and then maybe into tomorrow is to go through each one of these sequences looking for the tiny difference that distinguishes the coastal marker, the thing that leads us to Australia. So it's going to take quite a while, a bit tedious. Sometimes I wish I'd done something other than science. If the marker's here, it'll give itself away as a tiny spelling mistake in just one of the four letters that spell out the story of our past. A-C-G-T. I'm searching for just one accidental change in a sequence that's six billion long. From C to T. Is that it? Yes. A misprint of just one letter, but just enough hopefully, to change history. I've got some really exciting news. Well, I'm good. Okay. Let's take a look at Let's, it. Show yeah. you. If you look at this yeah. particular position, see that change yes. from C to T? T, yes. That's the marker. We've done it. This tiny spelling mistake occurred around 2,000 generations ago. It proves that our African ancestors did pass through here on their way to Australia. In the end, one man from a small village west of Madurai had the answer. It had been passed down to him from the very first humans to set foot in India. And here he is. One microscopic change rewrites the history of an entire continent. And that feels pretty awesome. Fantastic. We could really celebrate. In this case, the genetics is really leading the way because there is no archaeological evidence for a human presence in India until 30 or 35,000 years ago. It's amazing for me to think that as I look out on the subcontinent of India, that people are carrying the signpost in their DNA. From Africa to Australia, and now, for the first time, the missing link we found in India. The genetic evidence of modern man's first coastal migration to Australia. Most of the route would have been pretty easy, requiring the same beachcombing survival skills learned in Africa. But there was one final obstacle. Even at the height of the Ice Age, the coastline didn't quite reach to Australia. there were still 150 miles of open ocean. 